will this last the test of time? Nope. What's up everybody, it's PJ the Great. I hope you're having a super beautiful day. And if you're new here, I do videos just like this as well as ADHD tips. So if that sounds like your jam, consider subscribing. And to all my returning subscribers, what's up great ones? Welcome back. Okay, so I decided to take a look at a bunch of products that I have reviewed in the past and answer the burning question, are they still worth it today? And one that came into mind is an SSD that I've been getting a few questions about as of late and it's this little portable SSD from King Dion. This is the 120 gigabyte variant and a couple of people have been asking me, hey, how is it holding up? I purchased this thing back in 2018 and when I did a review on it, I was actually really in love with this thing. It was like pretty awesome. Back then, like the popular thing to get especially like for content creators, they were all about the Samsung T5 portable SSDs, but those things are super expensive. And this only ran me, I think it was like $35 at the time that I purchased it. So I thought that this was a pretty killer deal. And when I got it into my possession and tested it out, it was pretty awesome. But is it still awesome today? Spoiler alert, no. Now outside of my little testing that I did in that video, I was able to take it out on a road trip with me when I went to uh, Temecula, California with a couple of friends and I was actually able to dump all of my footage onto this thing during that trip and I even edited a video straight from this without any issues. But for some reason over time, this thing has started to deplete. The first thing that happened was this is a USB-C connector and it came with a USB-C to USB 3.0 adapter and it was supposed to also come with the USB-C to USB-C and it didn't come with that for some reason. Mine didn't come with that. So I purchased a cable so I could get true USB-C connections with my PC because I'm a PC guy now. Back then I was a Mac guy. Bought the cord, hooked it up and the speeds were slower than they were if I were to use it using USB-C to USB 3.0, which I don't understand at all. Then the final issue I started experiencing with this was about maybe two, three months ago is transferring large files. Like anything, it's like I would say anything above 10 gigabytes worth of um, files that I would try and transfer at the same time. For some reason, this thing disconnects. It disconnects from your computer and then tries to reconnect, then disconnects again and tries to reconnect. You get the picture. It just will not stay connected to your system when you're trying to transfer large files. It never did that before. Now all of a sudden it's doing it and I don't understand why. I could transfer small files like say three gigabytes, stays connected no problem. Once I get into that double digits category and try and transfer stuff, disconnects every time it doesn't matter what system i use pc or mac same thing anything above 10 gigabytes it loses connection and it will not get connection back i don't know what's going on in here so i believe i did mention that this comes with a three-year warranty when i did my initial review and it has not been three years yet because i bought it back in 2018 so i'm going to see if i can reach out to king dion and get this thing replaced and if I can get it replaced, fine, that's cool. But if I can't get it replaced, I'm never gonna buy another one of these again because I don't think they're reliable. But I'm really gonna try my hardest to get my hands on a replacement unit, try and RMA this, and see if I run into the same issues again to just see if this thing is not stable to last the test of time because it didn't last the test of time to me. So. I'm going to put this video right on that review video since people are still checking it out to let them know how this is holding up after two years because it didn't hold up at all. Hey, if you like this video, do me a favor and give it a big old thumbs up. But if you hated it, you can give it a thumbs down. But no matter what you do, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you will be notified every time I upload new videos. 
I'm gonna be reviewing more products, products that I've reviewed in the past, letting you guys and gals know how it's holding up today to let you know if it's still a solid buy. I got a, quite a few things that I need to do recaps on, so I'll get to working on that. And until I see you in the next video, this is PJ the Great saying Audi 5000G. I hyped you up. I hyped you up, little guy. And you let me down. Mm -mm. You come back and say I'm sorry, boo. And I know you never mean it, cause you in the